Hello and welcome. In this video, we are discussing about data science. So, introduction to data science. So, the term data science has emerged recently with the evolution of mathematical statistics and data analysis. Data science, also known as data driven science, makes use of scientific methods, processes, and systems to extract knowledge or insights from data in various forms that is either structured or unstructured with the help of data science in the next few years we will be able to predict the future as claimed by researchers from MIT they already have reached a milestone in predicting the future with their awesome research in various domains so data science domains First, travel, then marketing, upselling, cross selling, predicting lifetime value of customer, then in healthcare, disease prediction, mitigation effectiveness, then in sales, discount offering, demand forecasting, then in credit and insurance, claims prediction, fraud and risk detection in automation in self-driving cars, pilotless aircrafts, etc. and in social media like digital marketing, sentiment analysis, etc. So how to solve a problem in data science? So problems in data science are solved using algorithms. But the biggest thing to judge is which algorithm to use and when to use it. Basically, there are five kinds of problems that you face in data science. First, is this A or B classification algorithm? Is this weird anomaly detection algorithm? How much or how many regression algorithm? How is this organized? clustering algorithm what should I do next reinforcement learning algorithm so how these algorithms work so these algorithms are based on human psychology so we like being appreciated right so computers implement these algorithms and expect it to be appreciated when being trained how let us see so rather than teaching the computer what to do, you let it decide what to do and at the end of that action, you give either positive or negative feedback. So similarly, within each feedback, your system is learning and hence becomes more accurate in its next decision. This type of learning is called reinforcement learning. So data science life cycle. So a common mistake made in data science projects is rushing into data collection and analysis without understanding the requirements or even framing the business problem properly. Therefore, it is very important for you to follow all phrases throughout the life cycle of data science to ensure the smooth functioning of the project. First uh, discovery, then data preparation, then model planning, model building, operationalize and communicate the result. So discovery. So before you begin the project, it is important to understand the various specifications, requirements, priorities and required budget. You must possess the ability to ask the right questions. So here if you assess if you have the required resources present in terms of people, technology, time and data to support the project. And in this phase you also need to frame the business problem and formulate initial hypothesis to test. Then data preparation. In this phase, you require an analytical sandbox in which you can perform analytics for the entire duration of the project. 
you need to explore pre-process and condition data prior to modeling further you will perform ETLT extracted transform load and transform to get data into the sandbox so let's have a look at the statistical analysis flow preparing the analytics sandbox performing ETLT data conditioning survey and visualize then model planning here you will determine the methods and techniques to draw the relationship between variables and these relationships will set the base for the algorithms which you will implement in the next phase you will apply exploratory data analysis eda using various statistical formulas and visualization tools so if i look at various model planning tools are programming sql analysis services sas or access then model building in this phase you will develop data sets for training and testing purposes here you need to consider whether your existing tools will suffice for running the models or it will need a more robust environment like fast and parallel processing and you will analyze various real learning techniques like classification association and clustering to build the model and you can achieve model building through the tools like sas enterprise miner weka spcs modeler matlab alpine miner statistica operationalize in this phase you will deliver final reports briefings code and technical documents moreover sometimes a pilot project is also implemented in a real time production environment and this will provide you a clear picture of the performance and other related constraints on a small scale before full deployment then communicate the result so now it is important to evaluate if you have been able to achieve the goal that you had planned in the first phase so in the last phase you identify all the key findings communicate to the stakeholders and determine if the results of the project are a success or a failure based on the criteria developed in phase one so this was a brief discussion on data science thanks for watching this video bye for now